Hey plant nerds, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Adam. I apologize for how I look today. I just got done playing volleyball. I have zero time to get pretty because I just received a box of plants from Thailand and I cannot wait to open them. They've been in my work all day long. I've been holding off, but I can't wait to bust into those box and see what's in there. But first, a few supplies. So the 411 on these plants right here, I ordered them sometime in January. I did a little retail therapy when I was going through a rough patch in life. So I ordered these plants because I thought that would make me happy, but it filled me with regret immediately because I could not find any reviews of this place that I ordered these from. And yes, yeah, I should have looked at reviews before I placed my order, but I also had to submit my order. They would calculate shipping, send me an invoice back to let me know how much their shipping was, and then I could pay it or I could decline. Even at that moment, I still paid it. I am really excited about the plants that I ordered. I really hope they're in good shape. I really hope there's not a snake or a spider hiding out in this box just ready to attack me. But most of all, I really hope they went through customs fine. And I have the bourbon here because if these plants turn out good, we gotta celebrate. But also, if they look like crap, this will help a little bit. So this company I ordered from, obviously I said they were in Thailand, it's called New Life Tropicals. They, on their website, say they will take care of all the proper documentation, that I don't have to worry about any of that. And these actually were shipped out on February 6th, and they showed, arrived into Chicago last week probably like February 15th, but they actually didn't get to me until today because we had a three day weekend. It was a federal holiday, but they arrived. I'm hoping over the weekend they were situated in a place that was warm. So let's see how they look. I know it's kind of dumb to think there's gonna be a spider or a snake in here because Customs should probably have opened this and looked inside. It had the bands from the Thailand shipping, which makes me feel a little nervous that they didn't open it up. But also you see all those stories about people taking bananas home from the supermarket and a deadly spider just like crawls out of them. Not afraid of spiders, I'm terrified of snakes. So right on top here is the uh, phytosanitary certificate this is documentation that obviously you need when you're shipping plants internationally and you have my order on the second page guys i'm super stoked about this i really hope it turns out well if it doesn't at least this video will serve as a reminder or a red flag to people on what to avoid okay so it looks like they filled this with styrofoam and a bunch of shredded paper It's like Easter. I don't want to rip a leaf. <gasps> this first plant I ordered is a philodendron white wizard. It's very, very similar to the white knight. However, this plant does not have any pink in the new leaves. Sometimes when the white knight puts out a new leaf, it's kind of a pink tint. The white wizard is apparently not supposed to have any of that. And it does have some of these beautiful, just pure white spots in the leaves. And these stems are striped like most variegated plants. So cool. It is a little flimsy, so I'm hopefully gonna get this guy situated soon. I'm sorry if it goes in and out of focus. Well, actually just out of focus because I do everything manual. I don't like the autofocus, I don't like the noise, but I will include some close-up shots of these plants. So if I tend to go out of focus, just keep watching and you will see close-ups. So the plant is wrapped in plastic, but also it's wrapped with, I think, a little bit of sphagnum moss in there. And it's wrapped with newspaper um, to keep it a little damp. Some of these leaves are definitely bent from the shipping. Honestly, these are packed very, very well. Oh boy. 
<laughs> wow. I am pleasantly surprised with how nice these plants look. If you can't tell by now, this plant is the Monstera Thai Constellation. And I did order what on their website was referred to as the medium size. It does have three leaves and all three of these leaves look super healthy, albeit they're a little crooked. You can see how beautiful that, pat that variegation pattern is on this one leaf. You have chunks of that cream, that yellow off-white color, and then there's the spotting. But man, this is a beautiful plant. I've wanted one for a while. I get super jealous when I see everyone else's. I probably paid too much money for it, but it's here, it's mine. I'm excited. This little baby right here is a ZZ Raven. And I've been eyeballing one of these for a while. There's been a few people that I've seen on Instagram, on YouTube, they had received one. I decided to pay the money to get one. I'm hoping that once this is well established, I could propagate it and then also trade it with other people. I wanted to take a look at the roots here. They feel pretty substantial. Not the Blantons. So you can see these roots were wrapped with some sphagnum moss. It's still actually pretty damp. And these have been in transit for almost, I would say, two weeks. Look at those roots. There's a few spots of root rot, which I'll probably cut off before I stick it in soil, like this spot right here. It's a little black, I can, you can just cut that off. But all in all, this looks really healthy. There's a bit more root rot going on with the Monstera here. I don't know how long it's been in this sphagnum moss. The sphagnum moss is actually still damp. There's a bunch of dead, extremely rotted roots left over inside of this. It's just probably precautions on the part of the vendor to make sure that this makes it in the journey without drying out. Obviously, like I said, this took two weeks to get here. You can tell the rotted roots because like this piece right here, if I pull on it, the outside of the root actually just slides right off. It's also a lot darker in color. As a precautionary measure, I'm just gonna make sure I go through each of these and cut off any of the ones that are severely rotted just to make sure that I don't plant this and that rot continues and kind of degrades this plant that traveled so far to make it to me. So my beautiful white wizard philodendron actually probably seems to be in the worst shape of all of them as far as the root growth goes. It still looks like a healthy plant. A good chunk of these roots I see here have rot or they're mushy and just coming right off. I think what I'll do is just keep him in water for now, give him some humidity and hopefully promote some more root growth out of him. I do see a couple nodes that are starting to push out a little bit of root. We're gonna try that with him and I'm not gonna put him in a pot just yet. Here are the plants I received from New Life Tropicals. I really wanted to do this video just to show people more about this company and how the plants arrive as I couldn't find a lot of information out there. If you wanna give their website a look over, I will include the description down below. They did have a ton of really cool plants that I have never seen 
sold retail in the US or they've been sold in the US, but very rarely. If you have not done so yet, please click that subscribe button located right down there so you can follow my journey with plants. You can also find me on Instagram. I am at notdude. And as always, I appreciate you hanging out with me. Thanks for watching.